Local, state, and federal leaders are looking to make streets safer for people in the Metro East. Alton is getting more than $215,000 to do just that. The focus is on Payasa Street in downtown Alton. You can see that's very close to the Clark Bridge. Residents tell First Lord Forsha Shonda Stahl that people often are seen flying down that stretch. It is uh, dangerous and it's got a local reputation for being um, dangerous. Russ Smith not only lives in downtown Alton, but also owns the restaurant Bossa Nova. Right now, Piasa is 30 miles per hour, but Smith tells us that speed's rarely followed. It's going to take some um, major effort to change that stretch of Piasa into um, a street that's more compatible with downtown development and safety. Mayor David Goins says the initial plan is to reduce Piasaw from four to three lanes and add a safety buffer on each side. They're going to collect traffic uh, data prior to the traffic calming measure and then during the traffic calming measure to see how vehicle traffic flow, if it's changed. The Safe Streets and Roads for All federal grant program is focusing on making that road in Alton safer for pedestrians. The goal is to reduce the distance people will have to cross the street, increase visibility, and try to prevent speeding. They are going way too fast. Tony Phillip has seen the issues with Piasaw. A lot of accidents, a lot of close calls. This is really dangerous for people. I mean, you could sit here, stand here for, you know, 15 minutes before you actually can see the traffic let up. The goal with making this street here safer for people is also making downtown Alton more walkable, bringing even more people into the restaurants and businesses here in the area. It's downtown Alton. This is our heartthrob. This is our heart and soul down here, downtown Alton. And you have a lot of businesses that people are walking around and they want to feel safe. They want to feel comfortable. They can come down and park get out of their cars and walk around to other businesses. So I think that's going to definitely help. The Department of Transportation grant is for more than $215,000. Mayor Gowen says it will be several months before those traffic calming measures are implemented. In Alton, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4.